I have been freed from my prison. Those who dare stop me in my path of destruction will know the true meaning of suffering. The eight points are mine. Well, wasn't that just pleasant? Welcome to Dice Chatter, everyone. Today I finally break out the good old Ermagerd Myrmidurn and attempt to paint him up like he would be welcoming you to the gates of hell. What I wanted to try out with this model was to go completely off the cuff. No plans, just a basic idea in my head and go with the flow. Sometimes you just want to paint and not worry about being exact and perfect. So enough building this model, let's jump into the painting process. Here is my little airbrush booth that resides in my basement. The setup is not the best, so I apologize if the footage is not up to your extreme high quality. Anywho, I first primed the model black. Once this was complete, I pulled out a number of inks and started off with a Zenithal highlight over the model. So far, so good. But this is when things started to just become a mismatch of attempted highlights. You know, recess spraying, then trying to fix my Zenithal, mixing up some red and not getting the exact shade I wanted. You know, just what I typically go through. Also, I am not skilled enough to really get into the detailed sections of the model with my cheap airbrush, so after I felt sort of satisfied with my base coat over the skin, I went to my painting station and continued the model there. The inks that I shoot through my airbrush do a great job but leave an unwanted shine. To combat this, I try out a mixture of Lamia Medium and a black wash. In theory, this should do the trick to lose that shine. I apply a mixture all over the model and look out for any pooling, and it seems like it actually did the trick. From this point on, I'm going to try my best and get some quality highlights all around the skin. The problem is, is red is an annoying color to paint. If you mix it with white, you get pink. So you either have to purchase a bunch of different red shades or continue blending it up with orange. With this in mind, I continue to go around the model and do very minor highlights and just continue to blend them up. I make sure to have a messy wet palette here just to make sure my paints stay right at that perfect juiciness to get a nice gradient around the muscles. Also on a side note, filming and painting is not that easy. When not filming, I tend to throw my elbows down on the table and hold the model about 6 inches from my face. I mean look at the crazy way I have to position myself just to get a decent shot. Eh. Anywho, I'm getting off track here. The red skin took a long while to complete. As it is part of the model that really sells this crazed beast, I wanted it to look top notch. I even took a second or two to make those scar marks pop on the model as well. After I called the skin complete, I moved on to the hair. I want the hair to be a dark gray and fade it up to almost a white at the tips. To achieve this, I put down a base of dark gray and then applied a very thin down black wash to deepen in those shadows. I let all this dry and then slowly took my time dry brushing up a lighter shade to the model until I reach a point I was happy with. Dry brushing is a simple idea, but in practice on tight spaces, you will have to be careful and take your time. This devil is starting to look like one old soul. But this old soul is not yet complete. Next I wanted to work on all those straps and cloth on the model. I was debating between a dark brown or black, and I decided to go with the latter. At this point, this ogroid is looking like you'd find him deep, in a German sex dungeon ready to start dominating. Ja, Kolmidati. At this point, we will continue to work on the straps, do some edge highlighting, and bring out that black to almost reflect a very dark gray. It tends to look a little bit better that way. Using just plain black almost looks as if you just forgot to paint that section of the model. Moving over to the cloth that covers this guy's manhood, I have decided to try out some purple. I realized during the painting process of the cloth, I wanted to keep it dark. I didn't want this section of the model to be a focal point, so I kept it quite basic and standard. But later we can always dirty up the bottom of the cloth because it is closer to the base. And just like the rest of the model, I work in some highlights to make the cloth a step above boring purple. I will say this Myrmidon is starting to come together. After this we move on to all of the metal. I've decided to mix up a couple metallic colors around the demon. I've chosen silver for the spear and the shield, and I'm trying out a bronze on all of the accent pieces. I find that making everything only silver or bronze would be extremely boring, so why not just spice it up a little bit? 
It was once this step was complete, I had to decide on how I was going to weather all of this metal. Now this demon has seen some fights, but I didn't want his equipment to feel as it had been rotting in a cave somewhere. I wanted it to be fresh and shiny with little oxidizing. And I make sure to add a couple silver slash marks to show that his armor is getting some use. At this point, it is really just the bones, the other minor details, and the base of this model, and we are complete. For the horns and hooves, I just did a very simple scheme. Bone color, brown wash, and then some lighter bone colors to highlight those sections of the piece. Oh, and I added a few little skulls on the base. Figured uh, that wouldn't be an issue. Then I tackled a few other details such as the spear, some minor jewelry, and so on. And finally for the base, I kept it very simple. Since I will be using this guy in Warcry, I wanted him to match the theme I have for all the fighters. I just used some of that astro granite paint from GW, mix in a brown and a green wash, a little bit of dry brushing, and finally, decorate it with some grass tufts. And there you have it folks, my Ogroid Myrmidon is ready for battle in the 8 points. I hope this painting tutorial has given you folks some ideas on how to paint up some of your devilish guys. Until next time folks, I want to thank you all for watching, and of course, Happy Gaming!